Well, good morning, everybody. Jeff Slaky and Spencer Hughes on the Daybreak Show via Zoom video conference from Turning Point Survivor Advocacy Center, the Executive Director, Gina Blanchett-Reed. Morning, Gina. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing very well. Thank you. Turning Point is online at turningpointwithane.org. We'll put the links to that in the show notes. So a great uh, organization that does a lot mm. to, in this community and one of the largest survivor advocacy centers in the state. Today marks a great start uh, to a longtime fundraiser, but because of COVID, things have changed a little bit. Mm. And Power of the Purse is all week long starting uh, today at nine, right? That's, yeah, that's right. So it is a week-long virtual event that's going to culminate with uh, a live-streamed event on Friday at 6 o'clock. I um, also just wanted to point out real quick, uh, I forgot to mention that we are celebrating 20 years in the community. So um, it's kind of a celebration for us. That's great. Many lives have been touched and helped by Turning Point, and now is an opportunity for folks to help Turning Point themselves. So let's talk about how this kind of hybrid uh, power of the mm -hmm. purse is going to go through the week. I'm excited to be a part of it Friday yes. night, but from now until Friday, how is this all going to work out? So it has been sort of interesting changing our platform, and uh, but we have been just so um, humbled by the outpouring of the business community. And so we've procured some wonderful items that will be available for um, bidding, buy it now options that will also be available. And people can start shopping and bidding, um, you know, right after this program. And we'll have a link to a portal that they can access through our website or through our Facebook. And uh, they'll be notified. They'll, they'll go on. They'll register. They can vault their credit card. And then if they see something, they can bid on it. And if they get outbid during the week, they'll get a notification through text or email, however they choose. And so they can kind of um, have that adrenaline going all week um, and culminate again with a Friday event where the auction will close. And this fundraiser for Turning Point is uh, the main funding arm for the whole year uh, for Turning Point. What are some of the ways that the monies that have raised mm -hmm. have helped over the last years? Right. So it is our only um, event that we host and um, an opportunity to showcase what we do as well. But last year, we had a very successful event, and uh, the money that was raised went towards our new youth program, which is up and running now. Mm -hmm. We have hired our youth advocate. We had some renovations done in our, our shelter, and uh, thanks to Green Diamond, and also the, the money that we raised at Power the Purse to pay for those things that our federal grants weren't paying for. So we actually are, are seeing uh, youth and children in our shelter in a way that we haven't before and really serving those youngest survivors. So um, this year we're gonna build upon that and grow that program up in the Belfair area. So uh, a lot of the funds that will be raised will help that effort as well. We talked uh, early on at the start of this, March or April, about mm -hmm. the need for centers like Turning Point. Uh, it is a, often a, a dangerous situation that people find themselves in, in abusive households. And because of these quarantines and stay-at-home orders, um, there's a lot of concern over the last few months about how uh, that is working with families with those types of struggles and issues. Is that still the case? Is it, is it, it, is it subsided at all or is it worse? No, it, it actually hasn't. And um, we're, you know, we're hearing from uh, local law enforcement and others that um, the calls are up as well. We're seeing our call volume up and unfortunately, we've had to, um, because of social distancing, we're not able to be at full capacity so that we can keep our, our clients and our staff safe. Mm -hmm. um, but so we're, we're definitely bringing in those people in imminent danger. And so um, the cases that we're seeing right now are, are more critical. Um, and so um, we're just thankful that uh, we have staff that's healthy and, and um, willing to um, make sure that our clients are safe as well. So yeah, it's very, it, it's very hard for some people to be at home in very stressful times and times that uh, where they... They really have no place to go. And so those um, uh, situations escalate for sure. You can always call or text their 24-hour crisis support line at 360-432-1212 and uh, also turningpoint.org uh, for the website has got information on this as well. But that is an important number uh, mm -hmm. to know to reach out. It's, a, it's safe and secure uh, and the help 
um, in some form will come and be able to, to at least contact with you and, and, and talk with you about maybe next steps. So starting uh, just after daybreak ends, so nine o'clock this morning, the links will go live for the uh, virtual week-long Power of the Purse auction items, and it'll culminate again Friday in the evening with a Facebook Live event on the Turning Points uh, Facebook page. And I'm really mm -hmm. excited and uh, thankful that you asked me to help out and be a part of that. So it's always good uh, to be involved with Turning Point. Gina Blanchard-Reed, the Executive Director here on, uh, the, on the air with us today. Uh, again, turningpoint.org. Uh, find the information. You can always Google to Turning Point Shelton and gets you right there as well. Gina, good to see you. Thanks for continuing to do the um, the great work of survivor advocacy in our community. And I know Turning Point is one of the premier uh, centers in the state that helps many, many folks. Thank you for the time. You have a good day.